Today's question is, how to define physical health? And are there any tests for it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually a very good question because physical health is very poor these days. So millions of people are looking for uh, particular tests and how we can define it. In Russia, Dr. Buteki developed a brief and retraining method and 200 doctors, we tested more than half million people with a simple test which relates to body oxygenation. And therefore, the definition that I want to suggest here related to physical health would be to having up to 50-60 seconds for the body oxygen test. Because the body oxygen test is very simple, anybody can do it anytime. You can find more information in our videos on the normalbriefing.com website. It's like a kind of very special test because you need to sit down, rest 5-10 minutes, then have ordinary exhale. And it's a very hard first part, like very hard factor because when you exhale, your breath holding time would be less. Then we hold our breath on until first stress or discomfort without any pushing yourself. So after the test, your breathing pattern is about the same as before the test. So when we do this test, this test actually explains or provides a number how much oxygen we have in the human body. And oxygen is a key factor because so many chronic diseases, like if you think about what is going on on a cellular level in such conditions as cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and asthma, whatever condition, when paramedics arrive, we give pure oxygen, we even don't know what is going on, but we are virtually always right because whatever the condition, people with, who have severe health problems and very poor physical health, they are going to suffer all the time chronically from very low oxygen level in body cells, body tissues. And when they have exacerbations or acute attacks, it's critically low so that people can die. When people die, there are generally two organs which are most likely to die, like cause death in the person. That would be either heart or the brain. And in both cases, it happens due to very low oxygen levels, like up to 90% or more of people would have really severe problems when they have these acute attacks, not related to septis or in infections. So that's about uh, the reason why we use body oxygen test. And I, test, I, I did this test with uh, thousands of my students when I do lectures, talks, presentations, and hundreds of my students whom I trained during the last 15 years in briefing pre-training discovered that this test actually has excellent correlation with uh, the physical health state. And here I can provide exact numbers. So as I mentioned, the ideal physical health would correspond to somewhere about 50, 60 seconds. And Dr. Buteyko and 200 doctors in, in Soviet Union and Russia, we suggested that that's a golden standard of ideal health. Now, we also tested a lot of sick people and I also had like hundreds of people who were very, very sick. And these people would have less than 10 seconds for the body oxygen test. So people who have later stages of cancer, diabetes, heart disease, complications of other health problems, HIV, AIDS, cystic fibrosis, many other conditions. All these people would have less than 10 seconds for the body oxygen test, people who are in hospitals and critical care, so who, who, who require medical attention. So these people would have really low results. Now the next group of people, that would be majority of people with moderate forms of diseases, mild blood pressure, initial stages of uh, cancer just started. Uh, initial stages of diabetes without complications yet, um, epilepsy, sinusitis, bronchitis, digestive problems, many, many other conditions. We would commonly have between 10 and 20 seconds. So since I done this test in thousands of people, I can say that this is very, very true. So between 10 and 20 seconds, that would indicate not critically low, but very poor, very poor like physical health. Now, the next level would be between 20 and 30 seconds. And this is the level where most chronic diseases, we do not progress. And it is kind of a state of stalemate. People can still have some symptoms, maybe some like certain conditions, skin conditions, digestive conditions, musculoskeletal, some hormonal conditions. We may still require hormones to support the uh, insulin levels or for tyroxine or cortisol, depending on the situation. But people would still have, may still have some mild health abnormalities. And in order to have really good health, people need to strive to achieve even better results. And that is possible again with briefing retraining when people gradually improve week after week the results for this body oxygen test, which is again main factor of the physical health. When we achieve 30 seconds and high numbers, the tissue starts to normalize inflammation, different other abnormalities of tissues 
lymphomas, granulomas, and other abnormalities which are present in muscle tissue, and ligaments, in body organs, they start to disappear. And that indicates that physical health starts to improve. Even further, if these students progress up to 50, 60 seconds, then the body is able to detoxify, to clear uh, the uh, organs on the tissue level. And this would indicate ideal uh, physical health. And as I suggested, ideal physical health would correspond to having 50-60 seconds for the body oxygen test.